Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Dara L. Jones from BeBetterOnPurpose.com and I'm the creator of Be Better On Purpose with Dr. Dara L. Jones YouTube channel. And in today's video, I have a question for you. Do you know that your words impact your life? Stay tuned and at the end, I'll give you a solution to this question that I give many people who are watching my videos and want to be better on purpose. Oh, bless the Lord at all times, and His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt God's name together, for truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Proverbs 18 and 21 tells us the tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. The words we speak have power. They can bring life or death. They can build up or tear down. They can empower or destroy. Whether they are the words we speak to one another or the ones we think about ourselves, words make a difference. So right now, let's look at three ways the words we speak impact our lives. And the first one is, the words we speak are our profession. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus, who is faithful to him that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. And this is from Hebrews, the third chapter, verses 1 through 2. This particular passage refers to Jesus as the apostle and high priest of our profession. The word profession can also be translated confession. In the Greek, it means to say the same thing. We are responsible to say the same thing that Jesus says. Then he, as our apostle and high priest, is responsible to bring it to pass. When we speak words of life that line up with God's word, we are trusting Jesus to bring them to pass. And that's exactly what Jesus will do. Next, the words we speak are our protection. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust Him. These words were written according to Psalm 91 verses 1 through 2. We serve an all-inspiring God who is above everything. God is above every calamity, every illness, every stronghold, and every attack of the enemy. And just as Psalm 91 shows us, we are to proclaim His protection and goodness. We are to exalt Him, not our adversities. When the enemy strikes, we have a choice. We can either declare the truth that God is on our side and we will never lose or we can continue to believe the lie that we are going under right now. And whatever we set our mind to is what we will receive. So if you want God's goodness, healing, peace, joy, and healthy relationships, then begin to proclaim those things. Remember, you will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. And then, the words we speak are our privilege. And I tell you this, you must give an account on Judgment Day for every idle word you speak. The words you say will either acquit you or they will condemn you. And these were recorded in Matthew the 12th chapter verses 36 through 37. When we speak words of doubt, words of unbelief, we are sinning against God. That sounds extreme, doesn't it? But if we speak words that are contrary to God's word, or if we speak words that proclaim that God is something that God is not, then it is a sin. God's word tells us that we are joint heirs with Jesus, according to Romans 8 and 17. Overcome us, according to 1 John 5 and 4. Healed, according to Isaiah 53 and 5. Joyful, according to Psalm 28 and 7. And prosperous, according to Philippians 4 and 19. It is our privilege to not only walk in this truth, but to announce it for others to hear. 
Giving glory to God for all that we have is a powerful part of living thankful lives. We are acknowledging that it isn't through our human strength, but by the power of Jesus that we walk in freedom. It is also a declaration that what we say is the truth and that truth affects change. The words you speak are important. They hold life within them. So if this is an area of weakness for you, then challenge yourself. Commit to changing your life by changing the words you speak. First, ask the Holy Spirit to strengthen, convict, and comfort you when you speak words that are contrary to God. Then begin meditating on His Word and declaring their truth over your life. Let God's Word change you from the inside out. And when you do, you will without a doubt walk in all God has for you. So let Be Better on Purpose with Dr. Darrell L. Jones inspire, encourage, engage, empower, and motivate you to trust God and trust the faith in God that is within you. I've learned that it's never too late to get it straight. Therefore, I want to encourage you to forgive yourself of anything hindering you from reaching the purpose that God has for your life. And then, to find a team of encouragers who are committed to teaching what the Word of God says about living in your God-given purpose. Find a church home if you haven't already, where you can experience the blessings of a true, genuine, and an authentic community. And yes, weapons may form against us, but they shall not, they cannot, and they will not prosper against us. Because we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. I hope and pray that this video has helped you. And if this video has helped you in any way, please feel free to share it with a friend. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button now. Book me to speak at your next event simply by sending me an email to bebetteronpurpose at gmail.com and visit my website www.bebetteronpurpose.com and my church Champions for Christ Christian Church at www.c4cchurch.com and yes, I am on social media so connect with me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn at Dr. Darrell L. Jones or Be Better On Purpose with Dr. Darrell L. Jones. Well, until we're together again, thank you so much for watching this video from Be Better On Purpose with Dr. Darrell L. Jones and we will see you very soon.